Hey everybody, Debbie Starr here. I am hopping on today to talk about something. Some people love them, some people hate them. What am I talking about? It's pop-up windows. Now let's face it, we've all gone on to those websites and we start to navigate off and then this pop-up is right front and center. Or maybe as soon as we hit the page, we're confronted with this pop-up. Now, you might love them, you might hate them. Studies have shown that it does have some merit. That's how come people keep using them. Me, personally, I don't like a pop-up front and center as soon as I land on someone's page, but I think it's a great use if we want to give them an opportunity to like opt in for our newsletter or freebie as they're getting ready to navigate away. So today I just wanted to show you I'm inside of Go High Level, also known as Funnel Gorgeous or any of the other white labeled programs out there that's using it. It all works the same. So what you're seeing right now is inside of the Funnel Builder and I am on a page. This is just a little test page. It's actually the confirmation page whenever somebody has purchased or opted in. While I'm here, let me just show you. Do you notice in the middle of the screen here, it says thank you. Then it has curly bracket, curly bracket, contact dot name, curly bracket, curly bracket. So did you know that you can personalize the thank you page? You know, we all love the sound of our name, right? So try that the next time you create your a confirmation page. It's just a little extra to make your people feel special. All right. So to create a pop-up when you're on the page you come up to the very top kind of near the left hand side and you click on the pop-up button and then it looks like just a blank screen here basically we're building our pop-up now it's not like building a funnel page or sales page or anything like that so we're just going to click and add a row. And just like on a page, you could have a two column, you could have a one column, doesn't matter. However you want to design it, I'm gonna keep it super simple and I'm just gonna do a one column. So now we have our one column and now we add our element. So click on that, let me add a headline and let me just quickly add some things here. Before you go, Okay, and now let me add a sub headline. Okay, so I have my headline and then my sub headline here. And then I'm just going to continue to add elements. And in this instance, I'm just, this is like another little lead magnet. So I'm saying, hey, before you go, you want a copy of my high converting Facebook ad image. And I'm just going to pop in the opt-in form. And if you have not created your form, you can click here. This is just a demo copy here. So I will just I'll just find some random form here, okay? And then there it is. So now I have my little pop-up all set to go. I've got the form and just like on your funnel pages, your websites, you can do anything you want. You can add some, you know, enhancement. If, if you click on the little gear right here at the top where it says open pop-up settings, let me just, uh, get this out of the way here then over here to the left this is how we can modify how things look so you can move where this is actually going to show up on the page i'll move it down a little bit i think that's good and on my text here i think i want to just add a little space little breathing room there and so that's good to go on that okay so when we're setting this up, then how do we want this pop-up to act? So again, you click on the little gear and over to the left, you can scroll down. You could put a background image, you could do all kinds of things, but there's an option here that you could disable the pop-up 
or you could close the pop-up after clicking outside. So I'm going to turn that on because quite honestly, I think it's always kind of irritating. And then can I move this little guy? I think my little guy here is in the way of what I need to do. So hold on just a second. Let me just minimize this. Okay, I just reduced the resolution of the screen just a little bit. I zoomed out just so you could see all the buttons here. So if if you've created a pop-up and then later you decide you don't want it, just come over here and you could disable the pop-up. I have it set so it will close the pop-up. If I click outside of that little box, I can change the width of this pop-up so I can make it full page or small. And I've turned it on so it will show the pop-up on exit. So in other words, when I first land on this page, it's not going to pop up, so to speak, but as I start to navigate away. All right. So I'm going to save this and then we'll just do a quick little. Okay. So let's do a preview now. I've saved everything. So if we come up to the top right and just click on the preview button. And here is our confirmation page. Let me just mention one thing. Remember I said you can put in the name of the person that opted in. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, I don't see a name. It's only because I was in the test mode and there was no name for the system to capture. The same way with there was no purchase for the system to capture. So anyway, so remember we put the pop-up so that it would only come up if we start to navigate away from the page. Well, how does it know that we're navigating? Because I can scroll back and forth. All I need to do is, as I start to come up to the top, like I'm going to click off this tab, now here is the opt-in, the, the pop-up that just came up. All right, is that making sense? Let me pause this and we'll go back to the main page there. Okay, so we're back. So it is that easy. Again, as a recap, to start the pop-up, you come up to the top left, click on pop-up, and then you create the pop-up. It can be as extensive as you want or as small, but the whole idea behind a pop-up is to give Basically, it's an attention getter and kind of like, hey, wait a minute, before you leave, do you want such and such and then you give people the opportunity and again when you click the little gear shift of the pop-up settings you can scroll over to the left and that's where you decide if you wanted to just disable the pop-up if you wanted the pop-up to close after you clicked off of it and if you want it only to show on the exit so have fun with it do some experimenting and let me know how you're using your pop-ups and if you like it. All right, talk to you next time.